my name is Seal Bacon. Do you arrive by from another planet? Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And uh, uh, those little scamps at Screen Rant, they're at it again. They're at it again, writing articles about, about Doctor Who, uh, uh, desperately trying to understand uh, what regeneration is, and just not understanding it at all. They're like, uh, uh, Timeless Children? Could it be? It means Infinite Doctors? Time to No, 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 Screen Rant. Okay, so I. I I, I do a lot of these videos and they just give me a limitless supply of material or they just write articles where they just don't understand what they're talking about at all. And it's quite funny for people like us who like Doctor Who uh, and, you know, may have seen it once or twice before, who understand it. And we go, we keep, I can't, well, at least I keep asking, why? <laughs> why? Why do they keep, like, maybe just hire somebody who knows about Doctor Who if they want to... No, 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 that's crazy talk. That's crazy talk. So there you go. We're going to be reading another uh, uh, fantastic Screen Rant article. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it will be uh, a whole barrel of fun. Before we get into it, hit that like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. All those things are freaking fantastic. Comment. Uh, uh, I, we do need your help, us independent content creators. Or at least me, okay? Listen, I'm not, I'm not for you helping everybody, but mainly me. Mainly, let's be, let's be fair. Let's be fair. Mainly me. So, uh, 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 yeah, so we, uh, uh, so thank you very much uh, for doing that. Thank you, YouTube, YouTuber does, has not liked my channel lately. They demonetized me for speaking, uh, uh, unutterable heresies, led, uh, I believe in God. <laughs> Which I understand. Listen, I get that's a bit wacky. I do get this a bit wacky, and like men generally speaking are men, and women generally speaking are women. I understand these are not fashionable views, but the, YouTube does not like me speaking them. So they demonetized my channel, so, uh, uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button. If you're subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed it is crazy how they unsubscribe people as it goes up they go oh they, they take them it's just weird it's bizarre it's bizarre if you want to be super 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 nice like so it's just insanely nice go check out my indiegogo nope that's If you want to be super nice, super, super, super nice, like insanely nice, go check out my Indiegogo. Go check it. It's right over there. There you go. There you go. Two freaking awesome graphic novels. Uh, I've just started to get the artwork in for the final piece we, uh, that I need uh, before we can uh, end up the campaign. So I think I think it'll be ready to debut by tomorrow. It'll be Tuesday. So I think this is, we're in like the final eight days of the campaign. So go go check it out right now. The, you know, the clock is ticking. We're at, uh, was it 6,900 and change 69. One of my favorite numbers. One of my favorite numbers. Oh, oh I'm going to make this joke a lot. Okay. You, somebody should buy uh, buy one so I can stop you making this joke. Uh, 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 yeah, the six I like a lot. I like the six a lot. The nine. Yeah. <laughs> Fair, fair, I can live with it. Now, if you buy both graphic novels, you get a whole bunch of freaking awesome extras, or you could just buy the extras on their own for 10 bucks. But I want you to buy the graphic novels. They're good. They really is good. So we got uh, four of the male gaze cards. We got uh, uh, four, now six. They expanded to six. Uh, fantastic cards based on my 12-year-old uh, uh, masturbatory fantasies. Listen, people say 12. That's a bit earlier. But baby, I'm an early developer. Early developer. They're all genre-related. We have a James Bondy one. Keeping the British end up. We have Space 1999. Uh, Party Likes 99. Don't even think it says, but we all think it. We all think it. Uh, 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 no hanky panky in the TARDIS. Uh, I, I, I beg to disagree with you. Uh, 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 there should be lots and lots of hanky panky in the TARDIS. Uh, the, the chase card we added in is um, Sensing Strong Emotion Captain. Uh, and then finally, finally, we added up, uh, uh, added in. Um, uh, uh, this one, the force is female. The force and uh, force is so incredibly female. Uh, uh, listen, if we do well, we'll have more. We'll have more. If we hit, we hit eight grand, everybody gets this poster. It's an A2 poster. Uh, it's what 18 by 20. The big poster of uh, uh, we call this one a Bohemian in Time and Space. And you can hit this as an add on. We hit 12 grand, you'll get this too. Okay, we'll get this too. Uh, 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 the eyes have it. And then we've got this third poster. Uh, Great Balls of Fire. I think I'm going to just continue all this stuff into my next campaign. We're going to do more male gaze, more posters. Anyway, there's one more poster uh, uh hopefully we're going to uh, uh, uh be able to debut that by by tomorrow so uh so check it check out my live stream also got a really awesome cosplayer on my stream tomorrow i'm, I'm really excited uh I'm really excited you know who also gets excited to, uh, a screen rant screen rant gets very excited uh, uh but they get excited and they get yeah they get excited like my puppy gets excited like i, I, have, a, I have a wonderful puppy yeah she, she's still a puppy uh, yeah, she's what five months old, four or five months old now. Yeah, she's still a puppy. She's a puppy. Uh, 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 yeah, one time, one time, she uh, 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 she ran into my bedroom, right? Ran into my bedroom. She's not normally allowed in there. Uh, uh, she loves that. She she's an incredible jumper. She just leaps up on the bed, right? And she's on the bed. She used to when she was really small, like a few weeks old. She used to come and snuggle up in bed with me. Oh god. She's 
Anyway, uh, she thinks on the bed, she looks around, she recognizes where she is, she's so excited! She's so excited, she starts whizzing around, whizzing around with excitement, and then she pees on my bed, okay? that that Now, why am I telling this story? Because this is what it's like when Scream Rant writes an article about Doctor Who. They're so excited! They're so excited! And then they pee on the bed. <laughs> Fine, so let's, let's read this one. Max Smith explains why Doctor Who changes lead actors frequently. Yes, this mystery's only been been going on since 1966. I mean, like, what is it? We're in 2021. That's, uh, uh, so, uh, oh, man, what, 34, uh, 54, 55, only 55-year-old mystery. No, it's not really a mystery, okay? William Hartnell, uh, uh like the booze, like the fags. Uh, if you're American, fag is a, uh, is a cigarette. <laughs> it's not, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, 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 yeah, he liked a lot of that, and, uh, uh, uh wasn't was in the best of health. He could do Doctor Who for three years, and then uh, his arteries started to like clear, you know, uh, clog up, uh, and basically he had to he had to quit. He was near death. But Doctor Who was doing quite well. They wanted to continue, so they said, "Well, we when we come up with this idea of re regeneration, re they think they called it rejuvenation. It was, it was supposed to be a few hundred years, like he shed a few hundred years and became uh, Patrick Troughton. And then they really didn't even have it down by Tom uh, by John Pertwee. They they forcibly uh, changed his appearance. You know, well, it, I think the first like normative rent regeneration would be third to fourth, right? But essentially, they want the show to continue, and the actor doesn't want to continue. That that's why the show's fifty years old, or you know, fifty uh, coming up to sixty years old. Because of regen that that's what it means. Now, in the show context, uh, it means that uh, well, it used to mean. Uh, uh, when, you know, when the when the doctor met a fate a fate a fateful challenge, uh, he would he would lie down and turn like glow, and then you know, and then turn into into turn into another actor. Now he stands up and go and then explodes and you know a volcano of, of energy. Uh, I kind of I prefer the new uh, regeneration. I think over the over the traditional one. Uh, the, the older one, uh, but it is, it is a little bit. So basically, uh, 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 yeah, when he becomes he becomes a new person. That's a, what's even the question, really? I, I I if you don't know about that, what why what what I don't understand. Um, Smith, who played the Eleventh Doctor, calls Doctor Who the best job in the world. Well, I think you're right. I mean, it's just what a wonderful character. You get to play a hero who's a pacifist, uh, who's not. Basically, he's just a mass of contradictions. Like you know, he's uh, a very egalitarian, but likes to know that he's in charge, right? Yeah, yeah. He's 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 very uh, uh, you know again you know egalitarian. There's no uh, sexism at all. But yeah, doesn't mind Polly going make, making a you know a cup of tea from every now and again. Yeah, they, we have a mass of contradictions, and yeah, I think that's what makes him a great character. He has like these really really wonderful traits, and he has these like kind of like silly, um, not so great uh, traits. Like he didn't do well at school, right? You know, uh, and he got kind of got the impression that he chose not to do well at school. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, all those all these things just make and he's petulant, you know, and he's like bad tempered sometimes. I, I do like that about the character. It's really boring when you have a perfect character who's good good in everything, uh, which is kind of like how uh, it was weird. It's weird. It's kind of how they play it with Jodie Whittaker. Uh, uh, but but she's bad at everything, so that just makes it really strange. And so you know, when you got like Yaz and Graham standing and go, "Oh, Doctor, you're the bestest ever." I mean, Yaz, you're the bestest ever too. But Doctor, you're the bestest ever, 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 ever. Uh, uh, it's just weird because she's she's really bad at everything. So you go, what uh, what are the episodes that I'm not seeing? What episodes do you see where she's really good, right? <laughs> like, because I want to see those episodes too. Uh, uh, I don't think they exist. I don't think they exist. So okay, especially them. Doctor says it's the best job in the world. Yes, but explains the role is extremely challenging. I imagine it is. Listen, it it, it does. Yeah, a doctor. Uh, I think it takes a lot of energy. It takes like a lot of energy to be that kind of it, that hero. That's why I think a lot of the best the people playing the character have put a lot of themselves in it. Like Tom Baker doesn't strike me as being a million miles away from his Doctor Who. I mean, like obviously one's one's fictional, one's real, right, right. But you know, they, they don't strike me as being like a gazillion miles away from each other. Uh, Matt Smith, who played the Eleventh Doctor uh, in Doctor Who, has explained why the beloved sci-fi show changes its lead uh, characters so frequently. Uh, the Doctor Who writers first wrote uh, regeneration into the show as a method for replacing the first Doctor, William Hartnell. The first Doctor? I thought the Timeless Children had told us that he was like, I don't know, one in a gazillion. A and most of those gazillion are not white men, because all white men are bad. White men are bad, okay? Don't be a white man unless you're a white man and you got no real choice. Uh, you know, honestly, being a white man is bad. It should be blacking up should be okay. 
right? You should you should get a choice. <laughs> yeah, you know, if being a white man is bad, you should be able you to uh, uh, do blackface, right? I mean, that seems to be the logical inference. Don't don't do blackface, kids. It's bad. It's all. And by the way, it's always always without fail. Uh, uh, left-wing liberals are always caught doing blackface. They always think it's like it's in the eighties or the nineties. It's it's so weird. It's just weird. I don't understand. Like, what's his name? Trudeau. Uh, um, I, okay, just this is complete aside. I was looking on the, on the interwebs this morning. I was scrolling through my my Twitter. I hate Twitter. Uh, uh, I was scrolling through it, and I got a video footage from Canada of two two policemen beating up an elderly priest and <laughs> like uh, dragging him on the ground and patting it and putting his uh, uh, hands behind him back and cuffing him now listen i'm a big one of, of saying don't 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 rush to judge you know you don't know the full story you're beating up an elderly priest that looked pretty bad that just they, the, there were bad optics with that but you know uh, canada is in in not great shape anyway but again it was justin trudeau the uh, canadian prime minister who was uh, that picture of him blackface i don't understand okay i don't understand what goes through somebody's head that goes oh they, this is gonna work out well like no it's not don't do that don't do that again this is just good advice kids um, that's what's made the 11th Doctor who play what the bluffs uh, so change the uh, uh, lead act so frequently uh, William Hart or blah 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 uh, as problems with the health were becoming worse and worse uh, often clashed with producers in the 96th episode of the 10th planet the Doctor regenerated for the first time becoming the second Doctor Patrick Troughton uh, okay, yes, well, thanks for bringing up to date. As, a, as Doctor Who approaches its 60th anniversary, the Doctor has had a lot of faces over the years. A lot more over the last couple. <laughs> I would have thought, uh, uh, yeah, it sounds like, yeah. Um, over the last year, I would say. The current incarnate uh, iteration of the Doctor is the 13th Doctor. Well, I can understand you saying that officially, absolutely. I, I, I But I think fandom... There's a lot, a lot of fandom that just wants to forget this has ever happened, right? Yes, well, I want to move on and say, yeah, yeah, whatever, goodbye. Um, by the way, the the the, the rumor of, of when when uh, Whitaker and Chimnor are being announced, they're going to be released is July 11th. I thought that was for Euro Eurovision. Uh, I got that from Noel's channel, the Tardis Zone. Uh, but he, what do you see? Well, he was talking about the the Euro. Uh, it, was, it was a football, uh, it was a Euro football game, which I. I <laughs> that's soccer to to my uh, you know you know our american friends um uh, 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 lots of faces the guy played by uh played by the stunning and brave jody whitaker uh more than 13 incarnations of the doctor exist in the universe of course uh of course uh, there you go dash the recent time of child reveal uh in season 12 added many more to the official canon no, I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I don't think the Doctor is half human on, on his mother's side. I don't think we're seeing the Teletubby Dalek so much anymore. I don't think we're seeing... So, I mean, we're going to see it probably in season 13 as uh, 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 Chibnall finishes up, uh, finishes up the, the, the this debacle. But again, again, you know, I am hoping uh, 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 for a global apocalypse, apocalypse to stop that. That, that. Yeah, listen. Swings and roundabout. Swings and roundabout. Yeah, the, 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 the end of all life on Earth. No, not so good. Not so good. Uh, uh, not having to see any more time as child. Meh. Uh, yeah, listen. I, I think they kind of match, right? I think they kind of seg, seg into each other quite nicely. Um... Uh, well, there isn't uh, added many, but uh, when it comes to lead actors, Doctor Who has had 13 uh, uh, in almost six decades. Okay, fine. Uh, since the revival were held by... Uh, Russell Davis in 2005 started. Uh, in Russell Davis started in 2005. Five actors have taken the role on the role of the legendary. Uh, taking on the legendary role. What, one second. We had Eccleston, uh, uh, Tennant, Matt Smith. Uh, uh, do we count uh, John Hurt? I think you should really. John Hurt uh, and then uh, uh, Capaldi. Uh, sadly, Whitaker. <laughs> and then I uh, maybe Dave Bradley. Uh, whatever. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm being. In it. I'm being, a, I'm being, I'm being a bit of a dick. Okay, I apologise. Uh, if I were taking on the leading role, or, oh, and also, of course, Doctor Ruth. You know, um, uh, we're staying off an after three years uh, uh, before exiting the show. With Whitaker's first season on the rise, and fans may have, uh, have already uh, begun speculating uh, who might replace her if she leaves. If she leaves. I mean, I, I, you know, it's going to be one of the most unconvincing surprises of all time. And they go, and I'm leaving! Surprise! On the rumour of how she leaves. It, I, I reported this yesterday. Apparently, uh, uh, John, J uh, John Bishop, the new, new companion, uh, playing Dan, uh, uh, shoots her in the face. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, okay. I like, whatever. I mean, 
it sounds weird, but it doesn't sound any weirder than anything else. So I've talked about, about I, how many anything else I've described about Doctor Who was season 11, 12. Like, you know, uh, uh, um, there'll be a, a uncomfortable mental health storyline jammed into Yaz's non-existent character in half one episode where they have an evil villain with fingers that fly off and go in people's ears. Now, if I actually said that out, you'll be like, oh, bollocks, that's not going to happen. It happened. How about how about if I tell you? I don't know. There's so so many things I could like 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 you know. They bring Captain Jack back. They bring Captain Jack back. Uh, they he breaks the laws of time and space and rips reality and travels in time. Uh, you know, incredibly dangerously to give a deeply important message to Graham and I think Brian. Say, do not give these uh, uh, was it Siberian to the Lone Siren. Don't do it. No, under any circumstances, because if you do it, all life, all humanity will be destroyed. Uh, 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 and then the doctor does it, because, and then she goes, oh, I thought it out. But she doesn't. All humanity is destroyed. I, I, now, if I said that out to you, right? If I said that out to you before it happened, you'd be going like, no, no. that can't. So her being, being shot in the face doesn't sound any weirder than that, does it? Uh, we don't know who replaces her now, Smith. Um, who left the show after the third season in 2003 has explained why most actually leave the role after three or four years in an interview with Port Magazine. Uh, is Port Magazine a magazine about, about the port, the wine? Really? I quite like Port. Uh, uh, by Cinnablin, he called uh, playing the Doctor challenging and taxing, uh, even if it's the best job in the world. Well, that would make sense, right? That, if it's the best, it, it, whatever whatever's the best thing is all, normally the hardest as well. Uh, of course you miss Doctor Who. It's the best job in the world. Well, again, that's just the way Matt Smith speaks. He's like, well, hey, again, there's a lot of Matt Smith in his portrayal of Doctor Who. Like, you know, in a, in a, 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 an exuberant tigger. Like, bouncy, hey, that was Matt Smith's Doctor. And I think, yeah, I don't think he's a million miles away from that. So, yeah, best job in the world. Uh, it's challenging and taxing as well. That's why people uh, often get to do uh, get to three or four years before... Uh, they throw the tower. Now, they got, interesting, got a picture of Capaldi on the faux regeneration they did in, in this episode, which isn't all of much love, but I really like the whole Pyramid tri Trilogy, the uh, the Monk Trilogy. I think it's pretty, I saw it about six months ago again. It holds up really well. Capaldi is fantastic in it. Uh, uh, but yeah, this was, it was a great, you know, great clever. Now, Capaldi, ironically, they have it. I think Capaldi wanted to do five years. I think, I think Capaldi would have been great as five years. Two more years of Capaldi. Oh, it guts me, you know. And it feels like his era is like empty, like not complete. You know, it feels like this, the it feels like Exxon's era feels kind of complete to me. I had a beginning, middle, and end. I'm looking forward to the big finish, uh, 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 Chris, you know, Exxon stuff. But uh, um, the Capaldi, it just doesn't feel complete. Um, so I really would like there to be more. I really would like there to be a lot more. Uh, many Doctor Who fans have also noted that working with the show can be extremely taxing. With Billy Piper, who played uh, iconic fan favorite uh, companion Rose Tyler. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Uh, according to her iconic fan favorite uh, companion Rose Tyler, she, I mean, look, Rose was as important to the show as X, I think probably more important. The 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 she was our way into the show, freaking incredible performance, right? And, and with great writing, uh, uh, yeah, she was great. Oh, oh my daughter, my my daughter, who is now, uh, was it twenty? I think like, she cried when 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 uh, when Rose left. Yeah, they had that. You know, the David Tennant on one side of the room wall and, and Rose on the other, because uh, you know she 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 identified Rose. She all that, and she had a she had a blonde haircut and this about the same. Look as Rose as well. Ah oh, man, yeah. So yeah, Rose, Rose left a big, uh, uh, a big shadow in fandom, um, citing her huge commitment to the inexplicable fame as reason that she wouldn't consider returning to the series, uh, sci-fi series. I, really, I'm surprised. I mean, she returned from the fiftieth, uh, and she was good in the fiftieth. Uh, Doctor is one of the most uh, famous titans of sci-fi popular culture. Yeah, I, I was going to say it used to be, but then again. All, all sci-fi pop culture isn't isn't what it used to be, right? It re I'm doing a re doing a review of uh, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier after I finish recording this, uh, uh, and yeah, you just see the it, we, in Judaism. There's an expression called "you read out Hadora, that each generation gets lower, gets lower. So we've seen that that, that happen, like you know, just all the genre, just like I don't know, tank horribly since 2017. Uh, 2017 is essentially the cutoff. From when, when anything is watched, I mean, you do get the the uh, odd anomaly. I liked uh, 
Raised by Wolves and uh, Bra Brave New World and, and Resident Alien. Other than that, mostly not. Mostly not. Um, and most things you watch, you've got to watch and like you know, hold your nose as you, as you tiptoe through like, oh, God, this disgusting wokeness. That's in everything. Um, which, interesting enough, uh, again, another complete aside. Uh, the people who are uh, um, very, very woke themselves, they all say, there's no wokeness in it. What are you talking about? This is just normal. It always reminds me of people who deny the Holocaust. People who deny the Holocaust are always the people who would very much like there to be a Holocaust, right? They're always exactly the same people. And the same with the people who deny that, you know, current Doctor Who is woke uh, are always the exact same people who very much like it being woke, right? So uh, uh, it's like we're going on human nature. Fine. Uh, uh, Doctor is one of the most famous uh, blah, blah 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 huge fandom incredibly reduced fandom incredibly a fandom that used to be able to support a lot more I don't know if Doctor Who magazine is going to make it the rest of the year right this fandom used to have a lot really, I don't know if Big Finish is going to make it quite frankly uh, their, their, their product is uh, going down in quality and, it's, and it's, there's fewer and further between and it's just stuff I'm not buying. I'm not. I'm just not pre-ordering the stuff so much now because they just the quality has really dropped out in the last year or so. Uh, undoubtedly, uh, was it so uh, huge fan of undoubtedly grueling filming schedule. Uh, okay, here's something I don't understand. Here's something I don't understand. They used to make 13 episodes and they didn't complain about. Oh, they did complain that it was hard work, right? But like now they make much less episodes and they complain it's much and they complain a lot more. So I, I don't understand. Like, why does it take so much so much more work? Why does it take 18 months now to make a, a, a 10 episode of Doctor Who where you take 12 months to make 13 or 14, right? I, I, I really wish I, I knew the answer to that. Um, I, I don't know if you're schedule. Uh, combined, uh, combined make uh, taking on the leading role a massive responsibility. So I'm one paragraph away from in this article. And, and am I right in saying this article says that uh, uh, the the lead actor changes role because it's a lot of work and people change after a few years? Is that re is that re I mean really? Do we need an article for that? That I, I mean, I feel this video is uh, is offering more valuable more value than this article. Uh, at least I'm not saying the bleeding obvious. I'm pointing at somebody saying the bleeding obvious, going, "Why are you saying the bleeding obvious?" As if it's a revelation. I know why. I know why. It's screen rant, and they are morons. That's why. Fine. But the Doctor regenerating fairly frequently isn't a bad thing for the show. In fact, the regeneration is what keeps the show fresh. Okay. Intriguing and exciting while also allowing it to stay on screens for as long as it has. Okay. 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 I mean, and, and orange is orange. Uh, orange. Uh, you know, the sky is blue. Unless you live in England, then it's normally grey. Um... It's, uh, by the way, if you're if you're English, you go no, no, it's not, it's not. No, I, I I'm from England, okay. I live in Israel now. We have blue skies, okay. I lived in America. They have blue skies there. You don't. I mean, you get occasional blue sky. And get, it's mainly grey. It's mainly grey. Um, it was it. Uh, every time the new incarnation of the Doctor is introduced, it creates an entry point and a new start uh, for uh, the new start. Uh, a new fans uh, to start watching and an opportunity for writers to begin their own unique ideas on the show. Do you think this article is is like massaging people into the idea that Doctor Who's going to change? Is that the function of this article? I mean, it seems like it might be. It seems like it might be. Uh, even if most Doctor Who lead actors only uh, stick around for a, a couple of years, the, the legacy of the in incarnation uh, leaves... Uh, the legacy of incarnation leaves will be remembered forever. I, I, yeah, I think Whitaker's will be, but not in a good way. I don't think it's going to be... Yeah, it's the sort of thing you remember forever. Yeah, and, and, and you know, you want to go to therapy to forget it. So, yeah, it's going to be remembered forever as the show, that, as the incarnation that killed Doctor Who. And I really believe that. I genuinely, genuinely believe that. Uh, uh, but, you know, why pick on Doctor Who? It's TV in general. It's TV in general. That is awful. My name is Fila Beck, and you are a boy from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!